Hey, this is Mike. Well, we got another gun. Um, that's not really my fault. I have to blame this one on Dean Bowen because Dean was telling me about his rifle and how accurate it was. And finally, one came up and I grabbed it and it finally showed up. Hey, look who's look who's here. I have to get him off the box, so. Anyway, I opened up the box and um, it's ready to go. This came off of Gun Broker. Ooh, sorry, Scooter. Now nah, you can play with that. He likes to play with the boxes. So it came with this nice, actually BSA soft gun case. It's pretty nice. So here we go. You know, I had one before, but the one I had before was the gas ram technology one. I think it it was called, and whatever GTX has the had the gas ram. This one is supposedly a Springer, um, which is the version I want it. So this is the Lighten XLSE um, Springer version. I'm just going to cock the gun and check the check the breech real quick. Breech is empty. You know, feels like a gas ram though. I'll have to check it out. I mean, I'll look into it. Normally they're marked if it's uh, the gas ram technology. I wanted a Springer because I like the Springers. Nothing wrong with gas ram, but for this gun, I definitely wanted a Springer. So the condition's actually pretty good and the stock's okay, it looks nice. Um, nope, this is a gas ram, there it is. GRT, looks like I got stuck with a gas ram, but that's all right, it's the way it goes. Um, I asked the guy before I actually won the auction, but he never got back to me. And being as I remember used to seeing that, what is it, GRT stamps somewhere. I have not seen that and he did not list that. But that's alright. So it looks like I got the rifle I had before. Um, these are quite different. They're actually pretty cool. They're nice. They have a nice feel. The um, point of impact is, not the point of impact, but the trigger pull is actually really super comfortable and not long at all so this is a nice grab and go gun this is going to be some fun later on it's the one gun that i kept putting off since i had it before and i got rid of it without even shooting it um i decided to get another one since it came up and for some reason i don't know why these things are you know like they're up there in price and i just can't see other than uh, yeah this seems like a nice quality gun but some of the prices that they're asking for to me just are are high and this was one of them but anyway i got it i'm glad i did it's cool it has a nice way it comes in here and, and the stock is shaped and carved has the good grip here should have a um the barrel with the um, suppressor built in if i remember correctly but uh, anyway and um trigger feels good that's it this was um this was uh not my christmas present that was a long time coming that's actually sitting behind me we'll get into that a little later but um this is actually a nice gun so we'll have to do a video on actually shooting this and and testing it and all that other stuff with a bunch of other guns when it comes time to it so i did get my christmas present um thanks dean um i'm sure i'm gonna love it but um I finally had to get it. So this is the Christmas present that I ordered before Christmas. It took four weeks to get it. And we'll do a video on it a little later when I get it all together. But behind me is the um, thumb hole stock from Custom Stocks in the UK. I don't know if you can see that or not. But um, it came the other day and they just oiled it. And uh, I'm going to have this finished. So this was... You, they have like six different models or so you can choose from and I wanted something for the R9 It comes with walnut and you can choose if you want a grip or not and of course all that stuff is extra but um, the press grip here and, and on the fore end is 
comes standard with these uh, guns. So here's one side. Now I don't know if you can see the grain or not, but it's it's walnut, and you get what you get. And um, the other side looks like this. I just wanted something cool for my R9, and I thought between the R9 uh, receiver and action. Um, and this stock, I wasn't sure online how heavy it was, but this is probably going to be the perfect platform for that R9. Later on, I'll measure it. So I'll do a video of this later on when, when I get it finished and all. I'm actually going to have a friend of mine finish this because he has worked out the um, his skills on finishing stuff. And I don't want to take this stock and be novice and work things out on a nice stock like this. I got plenty of other guns I'll be glad to mess around with, but for this one, I'd rather just have it nicely done. And I'm going to get it done in a high gloss. Most people want that satin, I believe, or a semi gloss. I want this to pop like hot glass. I want all the grain to pop and I think with the R9 platform that'll look really cool and I may do some custom work to the R9 barrel as well. Anyway that'll be a project coming down the road so if you can see it. it has very nice walnut grain here and all that all that should pop very well and all this burl type of burl up in here. And also has the I don't know if you can see that but it's like the TX200 you know how it curls. So it's pretty cool. As far as money, um, they're from here, and I'm in Billings, Montana. That, I hate to say it, but that thing with uh, um, shipping was about 50 bucks. The um, extra walnut cap on the hand grip and the stock all came to around 366 but I mean where do you get a custom walnut thumb hole stock in about four weeks so we'll find out what that's like we'll see what the fits like I don't perceive to have any problems with it at all as far as this rifle goes I'm, like I said I'm glad to have it. it looks pretty cool they attach the barrels differently on these BSAs many of you guys already know that they're like welded on there they don't actually go into a breech block but um, we'll find out. We'll do a little video on this later on with a bunch of my other guns. So take care and be safe. And thanks for hanging out. And thanks, Dean.